Asthma is thought to be caused by a combination of genetic and environmental factors. There is no cure for asthma. In 2015, 358 million people globally had asthma, up from 183 million in 1990. It caused about 397,100 deaths in 2015. Asthma is characterized by recurrent episodes of wheezing, shortness of breath, chest tightness, and coughing. Symptoms are usually worse at night and in the early morning or in response to exercise or cold air. Asthma is caused by a combination of complex and incompletely understood environmental and genetic interactions. Family history is a risk factor for asthma, with many different genes being implicated. Asthma is the result of chronic inflammation of the conducting zone of the airways, most especially the bronchi and bronchioles, which subsequently results in increased contractibility of the surrounding smooth muscles. This among other factors leads to bouts of narrowing of the airway and the classic symptoms of wheezing. The narrowing is typically reversible with or without treatment. Occasionally the airways themselves change. Typical changes in the airways include an increase in eosinophils and thickening of the lamina reticularis. Chronically the airways smooth muscle may increase in size along with an increase in the numbers of mucous glands. The chronic inflammation is associated with airway hyper-responsiveness that leads to recurrent episodes of wheezing, breathlessness, chest tightness and coughing particularly at night or in the early morning. These episodes are usually associated with widespread but variable airflow obstruction within the lung that is often reversible either spontaneously or with treatment. Asthma may be suspected if there is a history of recurrent wheezing, coughing or difficulty breathing and these symptoms occur or worsen due to exercise, viral infections, allergens or air pollution. Although asthma is a chronic obstructive condition, it is not considered as a part of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, as this term refers specifically to combinations of disease that are irreversible such as bronchiectasis and emphysema. Unlike these diseases, the airway obstruction in asthma is usually reversible. However, if left untreated, the chronic inflammation from asthma can lead the lungs to become irreversibly obstructed due to airway remodeling. In contrast to emphysema, asthma affects the bronchi, not the alveoli. The evidence for the effectiveness of measures to prevent the development of asthma is weak. The World Health Organization recommends decreasing risk factors such as tobacco smoke, air pollution, chemical irritants including perfume, and the number of lower respiratory infections. Pharmaceutical drugs are selected based on, among other things, the severity of illness and the frequency of symptoms. Specific medications for asthma are broadly classified into fast-acting and long-acting categories. People with asthma have higher rates of anxiety, psychological stress, and depression. This is associated with poorer asthma control. Cognitive behavioral therapy may improve quality of life, asthma control, and anxiety levels in people with asthma. Long-term use of inhaled corticosteroids at conventional doses carries a minor risk of adverse effects. Risks include thrush, the development of cataracts, and a slightly slowed rate of growth. Rinsing the mouth after the use of inhaled steroids can decrease the risk of thrush. Higher doses of inhaled steroids may result in lower bone mineral density. Yoga could provide small improvements in quality of life and symptoms in people with asthma. For informational purposes only, consult your local medical authority for advice.